if you want some summer hockey, I'll tell you, the best summer hockey in town is going to start this Thursday at Lecom Harbor Center. And we've got Mike and Amy Lesakowski of the 11 Day Power Play joining me right now. They look fantastic. They're all ready to go. You got the hat. I got the hat. I got the T-shirt. I got everything. I'm so excited. Thanks for joining us, guys. How are you doing? Awesome. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Right. Are you are you guys well rested before this starts, or are you running on fumes already trying to get everything organized? We have to always be ready, Marty. We're ready. Yeah, you're ready. Okay, so Thursday, it actually starts at 6 a.m., but opening ceremonies at 6 p.m., um, we're going back to the 24 hours games at midnight at 3 a.m., and there's a few ice maintenance shifts here and there, but uh, there's middle of the night hockey. What was that decision to go back to having full 24 hours into uh, making the event, uh, you know, unique again this year? Well, it's mostly because my feet are still numb from the last world record game. So we'd said we got to take a couple of years off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the world record game has been a couple of years. We we do that every once in a while, but our, our flagship is the community shift. And this yeah. year's, this year's awesome. Amy and her team are, they're killing it. We've got uh, the most players we've ever registered. Um, we've got over $1.2 million already raised. So this year's we're, we're going back to the, uh, the community shift. It's our flagship. Um, it's well accepted. People around town love it and uh, we're ready to go. So I did see on social media, how organized you guys all are the warehouse with all the jerseys and it's unbelievable. This is not just a little like, hey, let's get together, play hockey for 11 days. Like, Amy, you, do you know exactly where everything is in that warehouse? You'd be that one person that would catalog everything, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, our staff is so great. You know, we, we this is our eighth year, Marty. So, yeah. you know, we've, we've been through a lot. We've been through a couple world record games. Um, this is our largest event. Um, we have... 4,000 pieces of apparel that came in wow. the last couple of days that we're folding and organizing and getting ready to sell at merchandise um, on top of those jerseys. So, but you know, it, it just, it's kind of a, you know, something that we just do every year and it's getting better and better. Yeah. Local people, obviously very involved, but there's, you know, people that come in for the event from way out of town, uh, even for the actual world record shift, there was, you know, out of towners that came in, uh, where are the out of towners coming from? Is there some that are coming from way far and, you know, you're surprised every time you hear that, uh, you know, they want to join the party. Yeah. Every year it changes, but, um, it's, it's been really cool. Like we have, uh, for instance, Liam's billet parents from uh, Cedar yep. Rapids, Iowa, they'll, they'll be in. We've got a team that comes up from uh, from Maryland every year. We've got another team of, of ladies that comes up from Carolina every year. There's a ton of people from Rochester. You know you know Rochester very well. Yep. So like every year, it seems like there's another team or two from Rochester, and it's been it's been great. There's been a couple of years where there's a gentleman from here that lives in uh, Tokyo, Japan. So he comes. I don't think he's here this year, but in the years past, he's been yep. here and stays at the hotel and plays in the community shift. So it's been it's been really cool and then uh even some canadian folks we've got some uh, good friends of ours from just north of the border um they'll be uh they'll be coming this year as well so it's been it's been fun it's, it's great to hear those stories so you talk about how your your toes have not uh you know recovered from the game from two years ago now you're going to play a few shifts in this uh, 11 day event coming up any shift at goalie because you've had to do a couple of shifts at goalie before so uh, do you want to don the pads and I, I see you're showing the mini goalie stick you can't make a save with the mini stick you gotta get the real thing so do you need me to bring a couple of pairs of skates so that you can maybe get in the net no thank you <laughs> you did let me use your skates for the world record game uh that was very helpful but i still didn't help me make any saves so <laughs> i will not be playing goalie uh, my teammates will appreciate that um i'm bad enough at defense let alone goalie uh okay well that's good uh that's fine amy um you ever think maybe i should you know joining for for a shift or two here when you do the thing uh, how often uh, have you gone on and played with uh, mike and liam and everybody uh you know in the past me Yes. I well, the only Once. time I have played is when I was your defensive partner. 
Oh yeah, that's right. We did that Street for hockey. a little bit. <laughs> that was for ball hockey. Uh, ball hockey at Riverworks yep. in 2020 was my debut because I don't know how to ice skate. And uh, I yes. Event, and everybody thinks that's hysterical. Um, but anytime we do street hockey, I can participate. But other than that, I'm on. I'm behind the scenes, helping. You know, getting our players situated each shift and feeding them and. You know, of course, doing social media and everything else. But, yes. but there will be a shift of my son and daughter and myself playing. So Liam, Julia, and Dad are playing in a shift together for the first time ever, which will be really cool. Ah, uh, that is great. Well, that's something to be proud of. Obviously, you have so much to be proud of with everything that you guys have done with the 11 day power play. Now it ends on June thirtieth. So, um, anything special for the last little bit here? When you guys, I think the last shift is at six p.m. The closing ceremony on um, Sunday, June thirtieth. So, anything special for that day as well? So, every year, our top three fundraising teams get yep. to play in the final shift, and we have them participate in a game with our awesome Sabers alumni. Mm -hmm. Marty, I hear you're in this year. I know, um, actually, I'm not. I can't, like, I had to bail out because I got to take Jacob to school that Sunday. So, I got to drive. I, yes, he's got to go in a little earlier, but I was all ready to go. And then, uh, yeah, I had to talk to Pat Coletta about it. But I think. Coletta is recruiting a lot of people, oh, yeah. so yeah. he's trying to make oh, yeah. it work. Yeah. And we have some junior Sabres, you know, uh, players that kind of came up through the organization that, you know, we're really proud of, yeah. you know, their achievements. And some of them are playing in juniors and in college. And so we'll be highlighting them as well. Um, and I just want to mention, too, before we forget, the Sabres alumni was so generous. Larry Playfair reached out to us. Um, the 50-50 that they're doing for the month of June is actually benefiting the 11-day power play. Oh, wow. um, so anybody that wants to get in on that, the winner of the 50-50 is June 30th, the final shift i think around 8 p.m we'll be pulling that number um so you can go to our website at 11daypowerplay.com and access our 50 50 online um and that's you know a big thank you to the junior, junior savers, savers yeah. for, for doing that for us and um that was very generous larry reached out um you know out of the blue just said hey we want to do this for you guys and it's been you know of course we we accepted graciously we're doing a five thousand dollar minimum pool so there'll, there'll be a yep. nice jackpot regardless and uh so huge thanks to larry and the junior sabers for doing that it's really really special so amazing over the last seven years raised over 10 million dollars uh your website is great by the way 670 kids were sent to camp good day six million was donated to roswell park research and wellness programs uh, 230 wishes supported by Western New York families. Like, this is amazing. When you started the first year, did you realistically thought, mm, we'll be at it in year eight and more, nine, ten, and keep going? Of course. Of no. course. <laughs> no. Amy's no. waving like she's saying no, but Mike is like, oh, for sure. No, we we were doing a one-time event. Yeah. We tell everybody all the time we did a one-time event, and it took kind of a life of its own. And there was no way we could say no at that point. So here we are, and we're going to keep going. And it's that's the Buffalo community. They rallied around that first year, and we knew we had to do something different to include more people from the community. And you know, we're at 2,500 participants this year, 500 more than last year. Yeah. So we just grow and grow every year. And, you know, between the players and the volunteers, 300 per year come out and put this event on. We lead it, but they put this event on every year. Well, yeah, I uh, I love what you guys do. I You guys are amazing. And you know, I've told you uh, in, in, in person and on the air and public and whatnot, but you're amazing. Uh, and we thank you for all that you do now on... Sunday, uh, on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Anyway, I'll make my way down to Harbor awesome. Center. I'll come see you guys. Then I'm off to Vegas because it's the NHL draft. And unfortunately, I'm going to miss the rest of it. But if you guys need a little entertainment while you're there, tune into Sabres Live and the draft coverage and see what's well, going on and see if I uh, if I behave myself in Vegas because, uh, you know, hey, what happens in Vegas is supposed sphere? to stay. Uh, the, uh, we are, we, the draft is at the Sphere. We're staying somewhere not far, so yeah, it uh, it will be fun. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Please, please come down and say hello. I know you will. It's always fun to uh, when you when you pop in and you know. Opening night on Thursday is going to be amazing this year. We have Dan Dunleavy doing the play-by-play -play yes. with his top fundraisers, and we have a chuck a puck game, and we have music with Nicholas Piccolis, and lots of yep. exciting things. Oh, that's awesome! Well, guys, thank you. Oh, I forgot I to ask you. Ask 
Game five tonight, Oilers, Florida Panthers. Who do you got? Who wins game five? Because I asked Jordan already. I'm doing an internal poll here. All right. I got Florida, Reinhardt with two goals, Erod with one, wow. and and Sergey with the uh, MVP. Oh, okay. Sergey Bobrovsky with the MVP. I thought you were going to say Montour with a goal, Kulikov a goal. Bring all the Sabres, Caloposo a goal. Bring all the old Sabres into the, the party and make something happen. But uh, okay, so 1-1 one, one now. Uh, thanks, guys. 11 day power play starts this Thursday at 6 a.m. The opening ceremonies are 6 p.m. Lee Kam Arbor Center. Go to 11daypowerplay.com for all the information 50 50 donations, everything. It's all there. Um, look. Who's going to break the tie will be Rob Ray. And I got him after the break here. So Mike and Amy, thanks again. And Thank we'll you. be right back here on Sabres Live with Rob Ray. And who knows what he's going to say. So come back in a couple of minutes here on Sabres Live.